Hello and welcome to Raju Notes channel, your pit stop for weekly current affairs updates. The updates tailor made for students taking all kinds of competitive exams like UPSC, civils, defense, and placement interviews. Please subscribe to the channel and stay updated every Sunday. India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan 3, successfully landed on the moon on 23rd August this week. With this, India has become the fourth country after China, Russia and US to successfully soft land a spacecraft on the lunar surface. India has also become the first country in the world to successfully land spacecraft near the moon's south pole. The landing was followed by rollout of Pragyan rover. This was a 615 crore mission. The Pragyan rover will study thermal properties, chemical and mineral composition of the lunar quakes. The lander and the rover will stay alive for one lunar day, which is equal to 14 Earth days on the moon. Pragyan rover of Chandrayaan-3 has rolled down on the lunar surface and the landing spot of the Chandrayaan-3 has been named as a Shiva Shakti point. The spot on the moon where the Chandrayaan-2 left imprint will be called as Tiranga and also henceforth 23rd August will be celebrated as National Space Day. Unfortunately, Russia's first lunar mission in 47 years has failed after the Luna 25 spacecraft crashed onto the moon's surface this week. The country's space agency Roscosmos announced on Sunday. Earlier on Saturday, the Russian lunar lander had failed to enter its scheduled pre-landing orbit of the moon. This was due to an abnormal situation that occurred on board the automatic section. Indian origin entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy has risen among the top Republican choices to face Joe Biden in US presidential elections. An Emerson College poll showed Ramaswamy was at the second place in the Republican presidential field, sharing his position with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Ramaswamy and DeSantis are tied at 10%, trailing former President Donald Trump, who leads with 56%. India's first long-range revolver, Prabal, manufactured by state-owned enterprise Advanced Weapon and Equipment India, Evil, has been launched for civilians and arms dealers. The revolver has a firing range up to 50 meters, which the company claims is twice the range of other revolvers. People having arms licenses can start booking the revolver from August 21st in India. Pakistan President Arif Alvi this week denied signing the Official Secret Amendment Bill 2023 and Pakistani Army Amendment Bill 2023 into law due to his strong disagreement with the legislation. President Alvi accused his staff of undermining his will and command. The Pakistani President's statement follows the recent arrest of Pakistani Tehreke Insaf. Vice Chairman Shah Mahmood Qureshi linked to an Official Secret Act case against the former Foreign Minister and PTI Chairman Imran Khan. India's first car safety rating program, Bharat NCAP, launched. Union Minister of Road and Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari has launched the Bharat New Car Assessment Program, Bharat NCAP. This is India's first car safety rating program under which the government will assess crash safety of the cars and award stars rating based on it. The program is expected to develop a safety sensitive car market in India, the government said. Doctors in India have been barred from attending medical workshops, seminars, conferences, symposia etc that have been sponsored directly or indirectly by pharmaceuticals or any allied health sector firms. National Medical Commission NMC released the guidelines after taking cognizance of medical conferences in five-star hotels. Violations may result in suspension of license for up to three months. However, the decision to make generic medicine prescription compulsory 
has been put on hold. Real estate tycoon Srita Tavitan won the backing of Thailand's parliament on Tuesday to become prime minister. Born in 1963, Srita has bachelor's degree in civil engineering from Bangkok's Chulang Kong University and a master's of business administration from Claremont Graduate School in US. He began his career as an assistant manager at the multinational Procter & Gamble. Cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar has been made national icon by the Election Commission of India. ECI stated that Sachin has signed a 3-year memorandum of understanding to promote voters awareness and turnout on a pro bono basis. Earlier during 2019 Lok Sabha election, prominent personalities like MS Dhoni, Amir Khan and Mary Kom had been the ECI national icons. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Anurag Singh Thakur has announced the Khelo India Women's League will officially be known as Asmita Women's League. Asmita refers to achieving sports milestone by inspiring women through action. The Asmita portal serves as a comprehensive resource offering valuable insight into upcoming leagues among other features. It will enable any school, college, government or a private organization to host Asmita Women's League and be part of Kelo India's march towards sporting excellence. Tejas light combat aircraft LCA LSP7 successfully fired the Astra indigenous beyond visual range air to air missile off the coast of Goa on August 23rd. This missile release was successfully carried out from the aircraft at an altitude of about 20000 feet. All the objectives of the test were met and it was a perfect textbook launch. This puts LCA Tejas at par with many fighter aircrafts and a big boost to make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat. India's 18-year-old grandmaster R Pragnananda finished as runner-up at the Chess World Championship 2023 after losing in a tie break of the final against Magnus Carlsen on Tuesday. World number 1 Carlsen clinched the Chess World Champion for the first time. Pragnananda is the second Indian and the youngest chess player ever to feature in Chess World Cup final. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa said six more countries have been invited to become full-time members of the BRICS grouping which currently includes Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The countries are Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia and UAE and their membership will come into effect from January 2024. Earlier Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India supports the expansion. The United World Wrestling has suspended Wrestling Federation of India (WFI) for not holding its election on time. The International Wrestling Governing Body has warned WFI of suspension if the elections were delayed in May. The WFI was supposed to hold elections in June, but they have been postponed repeatedly. Indian wrestlers can still participate in the event but will not be able to play under Indian flag or use national anthem. in case they win a gold Prime Minister Narendra Modi was honored with Grand Cross of the Order of Honor by Greek President Katharina in Athens on Friday this week Prime Minister Narendra Modi has become the first foreign head of the government to be awarded the Grand Cross of the Order of the Honor by the Greek government Prime Minister Modi had said that this shows the respect of the people of Greece towards the India This is the first time in 40 years that an Indian prime minister is visiting Greece India and Greece have also agreed to double their bilateral trade by 2030 Donald Trump is the first ex US president in the history to face criminal charges 
Trump was arrested on August 24th on charges that he conspired to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential elections in Georgia. He has been accused of colluding with 18 core defendants to make attempts to overturn the Georgia election result, which he lost to Joe Biden. The mugshot picture of Donald Trump as seen in this picture has gone viral over the internet. The Union Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry on Friday named Indore the best city and Madhya Pradesh the best state in the Smart Cities mission in its India Smart Cities Award 2022. Surat and Agra were named second and third respectively among cities. Tamil Nadu was named second among the states with the third prize being shared by Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. And now for the segment where we see the events that unfolded this week back in history. 20 August 1975, Viking 1 launched. The robotic US spacecraft Viking 1, built to explore the surface of Mars, was launched this day in 1975 and nearly one year later landed on Chrysiflanthia, a flat, lowland region in the northern hemisphere of the planet. twenty one August 1911, Mona Lisa stolen. On this day in 1911, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa was stolen from the Lavre by three Italian handymen. It was not recovered until 1913 and the media sensation helped it make it one of the world's most famous paintings. twenty second August 1485, Wars of Roses ended in England. Henry Tudor, the famous Henry VII, defeated Yorkist King Richard III in the Battle of Bosworth Field on this day in 1485, effectively ending Wars of Roses and establishing Tudor dynasty on the English throne. 23rd August 1305, William Wallace executed. On this day in London, William Wallace was executed for treason, condemned for leading Scottish resistance force during the first year of the long and ultimately successful struggle for free Scotland from English rule. 24th August 79 CE, Eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius in Italy erupted on this day in 79 CE, destroying the ancient city of Pompeii and Herculaneum. And the evacuations of these sites in mid 18th century precipitated the modern science of archaeology. 25th August 1944. Paris liberated. On this day in 1944, some two months after the Allied invasion of Normandy, Paris was liberated from German occupiers as a free French 2nd Armoured Division under General Jacques Philippe Lecair entered the city on 25th August. 26th August 1429, John of Arc's arrival in the outskirts of Paris. In preparation for an attack on Paris, part of Charles VII campaign to drive the English from French soil, John of Arc and her soldiers reached the city's outskirts on this day in 1429, but the assault ultimately failed. 26th August 1439 